Fun around 18, Scott Popular here with uh, two very special guests. And this is also very, very personal for me because I am a father as well. So I would like to, well, I'll let these people introduce themselves to you guys. My name is uh, Ray Escano and my gamer tag is King Ray. My name is Ray Escano and my gamer tag is King Ray Jr. You know what? I think they planned that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they planned that. But thank you guys for coming, and thank you for reaching out to me. Seriously. I appreciate it. All right, and um, and you know, and thank you for playing and being awesome and whatnot. But I'm gonna start with you, okay? I'm gonna start with you. I'm trying to throw you off here, okay? So, how long have you been playing video games? No, I've been starting with the video games since I was three. Since you were three. Yeah, when I was a little baby, um, the only game that I started to look out for was my dad playing Tekken with his own friends. So usually the story is like when it, when he invited his friends to um, the house to um, play Tekken Six. That's the or like any Tekken. That's the game that I started to look up to because um, whatever that I used to do. Or whenever I used to see my dad play the Tekken, whatever I did, I just stopped doing it and then I get my little chair and then I just um, watch until um, the game is over. But I never took my eyes off of it. Okay, so this is like straight concentration at all yeah. times. Yeah. Alright. And um, so, what character are you playing with now? Um, sort of. Well, I started out with Oscar, so still, yeah. My main is still Oscar. Okay. But right. for Tekken Tag 2, it's Oscar and Armor King. All right. Well, who are you looking forward to play with in Tekken 7? Oscar. Oscar. You're going to stay with Oscar. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have any backups? Is there a second choice here? Well, kind of, but if my dad teaches me King, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. All right. So that's, that's a lot of respect here, man. You, you've done a great <laughs> job. You've done a Appreciate great job. It. But I got I to gotta, I gotta ask another question. Now, when you were playing the games with your friends, and when... When did you notice that he was going to be good, or when did you notice when he was going to be able to play? Because three is kind of early, well, and, a, and a lot. Well, I don't want to cut you off, but a lot of people would say that's a little bit too early for kids to start playing. But well, the one thing I noticed um, right around the age of about one and a half, uh, you know, I think this was back in Tekken Five uh, DR, and you know, I'd have my casual sessions and I have my friends over. We would play, and like he was saying, he would stop. Whatever he was doing, he'd come over, grab his little chair, he'd sit down, and he would not move until we were done, you know, playing. So this kind of went on until he was about two years old. And at two years old, I noticed that um, he knew the names of the characters in the roster. So one day, I just decided to go to the roster and ask him who everyone was. And he was able to name about, I'd say about 80% of the cast at that point, for, you know, at two years old. So right there, I kind of knew that he had a really good aptitude for memory and, and learning. And this was not from anyone telling him who they were. This is from him watching, hearing the names when this you know, absorbing pick, picking the character. Okay. So at about two and a half, um, we were playing one day, and one of my friends picked Mokujin. And of course, you know, Mokujin being Change the style. Only character in the game, uh, the, it was actually Steve, you know, uh, Steve Fox. And he looked and he, you know, saw the stance that he was doing. He was like, hey, that's, you know, that's Steve Fox. So, you know, at that point, I really realized that, you know, this kid has an aptitude for memory, for learning. Okay. I'm going to start teaching him. So by the time he was three years old, I went ahead and just sat him down, went over basics, you know, just moving forward, moving back, how to crouch. Um, didn't really get into the, you know, sidestepping or anything until a little later, but he absorbed that pretty quick. I'd say within a month, he was already knowing how to move forward, move back. He realized when he was on the first player side or the right. second player side, knew that orientation. Right. Uh, this carried on probably until the age of um, about four, four and a half. And at that point, you know, he, he knew enough about how to move, play defense. Didn't know any combos at that point, but just knew how to throw. The basics. Right. He was still button mashing. Um, but he knew enough of the basics that at five years old, I went ahead and entered him into his first tournament. And, uh, you know, of course, he went in, went 0-2, didn't win any rounds. And it was probably about a month later we went to another tournament, and in that tournament he won his very first round in a match. Okay. So, you know, his progression, I mean, every tournament we go to, I always see some type of progression in his game. And it's, you know, been that way all the way through, you know, until this point. And that's the biggest thing I can ask for, you know, for him is he's got to take, you know, his school work seriously. That's right, exactly. number one. Okay. I mean, he, he's not able to play unless he keeps his grades up, okay. does well in school. Right. And, um, you know, as, as far as coming to these tournaments, it's just about learning. 
you know, even if he doesn't do well, it, it's all about learning, all right. having fun. All right. I forgot a part. What's oh, that? What's the part? <laughs> okay. When I, <laughs> when I told you to teach me combo. Oh, that's remember? right. Okay, all right. Well, t tell me about the part that you have uh, obviously forgotten here. Well, we, we went to a tournament. This was in uh, St. Augustine. It was at one of the uh, EXP Con, I think was the name of the okay. tournament. And at that tournament, I had finished uh, playing my tournament in Tekken, and I was in another game at the time. So he asked if he could borrow the controller, and he went away and was playing casuals. And he probably played that day, and this was when he was still five years old. He probably played, uh, I'd say, a good five hours <coughs> of, cap of casuals. Right. And I don't know if you know if he won, lost, or whatever, but by the end of that day, he came up to me, and he, he looked at me. He's like, Dad, will you teach me combos? And from that point is when I really sat him down and started going through the move list, the teaching him how to right how to use the move list, how to understand what it you know reading it, how to read the, the move list. So right. he goes in, he knows everything. I mean, as far as how to set things up, he can do it himself. He knows how to read the move list and and use it. So it's it's impressive to watch at his age. Wow, wow, wow. So let me go back to you now. Now this is not a video game question, okay? In school, what is your favorite subject at school right now? Real reading. Reading. Okay. All right. And okay. So, right. What's like your favorite book? Mm. Like any of them that I that I look to that I like. Okay. All right. And um, now, among your friends, because like when we grew up and we were playing video games, we kind of understood that like we were better at some people in some games, and other friends are better than you know. It goes back and forth both right. ways. Now, are you the best in your circle of friends in the video games? Mm. In your in your friends, like everybody, like maybe the kids at your school, are you the best person at your school? Well, I've never told them about the video games and stuff, so why not? So I wouldn't know that. You never told them? No. Why not? <laughs> It's kind of funny. He gets a little embarrassed when I try to show videos to his friends. You know, when he's hanging out with his friends. Really? He gets embarrassed. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's something special. I don't think he realizes how special it is. You know that he's playing at his age at the level that he's playing. And, you know, the, the opportunity, you know, to progress and learn from everyone that's here. I mean, he could be a really, really good player later on. Yeah, yeah for like, it's just some that I know that play video games. Okay, just like some. Four. Okay. Yeah, Anthony, Justin, and then Gabriel. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I, I hope that you and your friends do well and, you know, continue to excel in school mm -hmm. and in video games, okay? Now, i got to ask him one more thing. Now... Right now you're playing with a pad. Now, how do you feel about playing with a stick, or or do you just prefer playing with a pad right now? Well, oh, I just like the pad because um because um like this, it's easier to like see and do this easier. Okay. And like the buttons are like this, I'm kind of getting comfortable with it. Okay. But the droid stick, like, like it has the transportation with the stick. Right. Yeah, like the transportation on it is like not um steady for me. Okay. Like when I tried to practice the palm number with it, I didn't get it that much okay. because um of the Ooh. because of the transportation of it. Okay. Well, my dad gets it well because he has big hands and he plays on stick. Okay, there it is. All right. Well, when you when, well okay when you get bigger, do you think you're gonna play on stick or are you gonna or are you gonna stay here with the pad? Well, I'm getting used to the pad, so maybe I'll um, just stick with the pad. Oh, all right. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, but this pad is kind of getting old, so like. I'm going to keep on getting new ones until, you know, I get used to the one that I really like until um, these ones keep on getting old. I mean, there's actually a little story to, to him playing on pad is, is that um, <laughs> I started him on stick. He played on stick all the way until he was almost uh, seven years oh, old, okay. probably like six and a half. Right. And at that time, we got the uh, Tekken for the DS, the right. 3DS. So he started playing Tekken on the 3DS so much that I started noticing, like, when he would use Armor King, the uh, uppercut that Armor King has, it's a forward neutral and then, you know, down forward. Right. And uh, he was landing it, I mean, almost every time. So once I noticed that he was having an easier time with pad, I went ahead and got a controller and let him start using that. And it's been it's been really good ever since then. Yeah. He was just having, you know, trouble with the, with the movements, with, with the uh, stick. But, right. I mean, if he, it's like anything else. If he practices, I mean, he can learn yeah. both. And yeah, because, be both. like, one move that I really like with Armor King is the palm upper, and it was really hard to do on stick. Okay. Because it's not easy to see this right here. Okay. 
because since it has the buttons like this, the stick doesn't have any buttons on it on this part. Right, so those are four individual inputs and it's easier for you yeah. to put them in. Yeah, okay. like this, like it's easier, like board neutral and then the, this. And then it comes out perfectly. So the DS has, has a pad on it too. So that's how I got used to this. Right. This, this is amazing because has, has, has anybody ever came to you and said, like, why are you letting your son play video games at this age? And I've had people question me. I mean, um, you know, they, they basically, you know, not so much condoning me, but just asking in a curiosity sense, I guess, because they have kids of their own and right. wondering what it was that I saw in him, you know, that made me want to start teaching them. Right. And I tell him the same thing. It's just that at an early age, you know, he just showed such an aptitude, mm -hmm. you know, for learning and such an interest in the game that it, it just seemed like a fun idea to teach them. Yeah. And you know, I have a five-year-old daughter too, and um, you know, she talks to me about wanting to learn, but she doesn't show the same interest, right. you know, in learning right. that that he did. So I sit down with her, and she'll sit and play for about ten minutes, and then she's done. Which you know, I don't push the issue. If you know, when she's ready, she wants to learn. I'll teach her. Yeah, because yeah, you know, it's, it's like this: a five-hour difference, a five-hour difference to a ten-minute difference. I took way long to play casuals that day. <laughs> I know you. I mean, you put in five hours. That, that's pretty tough. And I got to ask you a really, really tough question. All right, so the first time he beat you. <laughs> the salt was real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Was, was, yeah. it, was, it, was, it a, was it a clear win or was it like it was a down to the button? Just tell can you? Uh, it was a pretty clear win. I, uh, I yeah. have a bad habit of running into moves and... Yeah, he, yeah, he's having <laughs> yeah, he's having trouble with Oscar's um can can moves. Exactly, I kept running into can cans, and <laughs> it's just uh, I don't know, you know. But I've the thing been... is, he's not seeing he's not seeing the moves very well because he doesn't have that much good reflexes with his characters. <laughs> so I hope you're taking notes. So yeah, so, so, yeah <laughs> he's I'm already broken him, me yeah, down. <laughs> so I'm telling him this that the can can move. Is a low high move because the first kick is it's low and then the, second one the high second one is high to lift them up and do it. So what should he do? So what should he do not to get hit by the can can? He should um low parry the he should low parry the first kick and see and see if he's uh, see it <laughs> and okay. see if he does it at the right time. Okay. Well, all right. So if he low parries the first kick, then what are you gonna do? Tough question, but he doesn't have. <laughs> tough question, but he doesn't have that much good reflexes. So if he doesn't You're see, you a new so, one. He <laughs> so if he doesn't see the move, um, so he could just um, if he doesn't low pair the first hit, the first hit will still hit him. But if he has enough life, he could still block the um the last one because. The kick high, it, you can't duck that because it's going low to mid to high, so you can't duck that. I could, I can't you. actually duck the high. I, I ideally, I want to mm -hmm. block your low, duck the high, and launch you, but what? that rarely so this happens. This is a father son <laughs> conversation, a real one. I like this. I like this so much. All right, now the last one for today, because you've been here before, and like I said, you reached out to me, and I was like, yes, because I let me apologize for not doing it the last time. Oh, but I'm fine. glad we're sitting down here and doing it now. But in closing, I just want to ask you, what does final round mean to you? Uh, final round is 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 Tekken. I mean, it's for me. It's it's all about you know the best Tekken tournament you know in the world. I mean, everywhere I've been, all the tournaments I've been to, this is Tekken country. And um, you know, for a game that we both love, we enjoy coming here, and we we always have a great time. Any, anything else you want to say? Same. Same. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. This has been very enlightening, and oh, I've been trying not to cry the whole time. So, thank y'all very much. Final round, eighteen. Peace.